Gary McDonald. I'm a product support representative for TireCat Industries. The 5195 is a heavy duty final felling dangle style bar saw felling head. And it was developed to fulfill a role where we had a hard time purchasing competitors' heads that were not as strong as what we believe they should be. It's used in steep slope applications where you can fall going downhill, clear cut operations on flat ground in certain areas, and it's also used for falling and shoveling uh, on its own so it can fall the trees and shovel the wood after that. If you look at the 5195 design, it's simple, reliable, and tough. It's thick steel, built very robustly, and it's bulletproof. The 5195 is best suited for the LS855D. The shovel auger is a closed loop swing, allows for better fuel economy, better swing power, and it's a perfect match for the lift power and the ability to work on hills, downhill as well. Being all on one manufacturer's machine allows us to control the warranty and to match the head to the carrier perfectly. The 5195 is very unique that it uses the rotary manifold as a valve bank. Other competitors have a rotary manifold and a valve bank. They use both. We're eliminating a big portion of pressure drop through valves by using the rotary manifold alone as the valve bank. And being pilot control, it's completely run by our machine's computer, not needing any other standalone systems. Curve grab arms allow you to grab multiple size trees more evenly, no matter what size of the tree. And 52 inch opening on the head allow it to be more productive in big wood. By using two cylinders on our grab arms, we're able to have a high clamping force on big trees, a small clamping force on small trees, and by lowering the clamping pressure while it's working, it lowers the overall working pressure of the machine, which burns less fuel. 5195 uses a 60cc saw motor, and it's an integrated design where all the valves are on the back of the saw motor housing. You can final fell much bigger trees with a bar saw because you don't have to drive the machine as a disc saw would be on one side of the tree, then the other side of the tree. You do not have to reposition the machine. The saw box holes on the 5195 are unique in that the chain is never exposed. We're using a solid portion where the bar comes back, but above the bar and below the bar, we still have big holes to allow the debris to come out. Traditionally, saws, processor heads, and felling heads have a flat bottom because it's easier to build, but what gives ours an advantage is that we use a V bottom. On a hill, it allows you to reach farther down on the hillside of the tree, and it also allows the head to sink a little bit deeper into the ground to get a lower saw cut. The rotator is set back from the front of the head, so it actually is more of a parallel up and down. The face of the head is farther away from the rotate and with the narrow link, allow the head to get closer to the tree working downhill. The serviceability is very easy. There's two covers that can be removed easily. Having only a rotary manifold as a valve bank and a saw as a valve bank. All the hoses are rooted down through inside. There's nothing exposed. As well, we've taken the tilt cylinders and we've inverted them so they're less exposed when the head is tipped over. Our saw chain oiler is hydraulically run and it gives you the ability to control the volume and the duration of that volume that you've set. Instead of just allowing a shot of oil, we're oiling as the saw bar comes out for its full stroke. Running our head day after day uh, grabbing ability, the strength of the grab arms on it are unbelievable. The saw performance of that head, the inherent design that we have where we're able to cut on the return portion of the saw bar, make the head really nice to run. This is gonna change stuff. Yeah. This is impressive.